Good morning, it's Clive Lambert here at Futures Techs in the UK and I've got a few uh, charts I want to go through today uh, on the commodity uh, side of things. So let's get cracking. First chart is a daily for the Brent crude oil, which obviously back in September had that massive spike up to $72 uh, dollars on the uh, Saudi um, oil field attacks. Gave it all back and got all the way back to sort of around the $56 mark um, by the end of September and has recovered in a far more sensible way, if you like, since then. And that recovery has been defined by a channel uh, which currently tells us um, that, you know, we have some, uh, that, it, that, that it's much more slow and steady and uh, maybe a bit more sustainable on that basis. The channel currently um, has uh, the bottom line around 60 uh, 6060 um, and the top line of that channel is, a, is up at 6460 and is protected by the 200 day moving average at 6448 but we have seen some constructive price action in the last mm, two or three four days um, uh, which has taken us back to the uh, near the top of that channel so um, we're in buy dips mode in this one at the moment but we are wary uh, that 6450 uh, 50 to 6460 could be a problem if that could be seen off 68 dollars is your uh, next upside target and could be easily achieved by the end of the year um, if you are stateside then you are looking at the WTI uh, and that has a similar kind of thing going on channel wise uh, we did dip through uh, the bottom of uh, the channel uh, last week but recovered it very quickly and saw a strong rally from there. Uh, the big feature of that chart for me is the uh, Fibonacci level down at 51.62, which has seen just just continuous uh, buying buyers stepping in uh, throughout the last three or four months. When we've got down to that level, we've dipped through it and recovered it extremely quickly each time. And again, now we are seeing a rally that has a little bit more sustainability about it, but is traveling in a channel. Uh, and with respect to that channel, uh, the bottom line um, is somewhere around 55.70 at the moment, and the top line is uh, somewhere around the $59 uh, mark. So that is, uh, you know, oil markets so are sort of step, stair stepping higher and steadily higher. Um, now, another commodity that uh, I know everyone likes to uh, keep an eye on is gold, and gold Gold has had a disappointing, if you're bullish, a uh, few uh, weeks, if you like, and has pulled all the way back uh, from the recent high that we saw there at 15.66 and got down to 14.46 uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, but if you look at our weekly chart there, we have um, put a downtrend channel on that uh, pullback, which actually in technical analysis terms uh, it can, is potentially uh, what we call a bull flag. Now, for it to be a bull flag, we do need to complete the pattern with a break above 1500, and then that would be extremely bullish for gold coming into the year end. But I'm guessing that gold is pretty much watching uh, equity markets and doing the risk on risk off thing at the moment. So it's still looking a little damp on that basis. Um, so if we're looking at metals and we want to find something that is extremely bullish, look no further than palladium because that has been an absolute superstar all year really uh, or for a very long time. It doesn't matter what time frame you look at in palladium, uh, you've got a chart that's sort of going from the bottom left to the bottom right and that's been the case ever since uh, sort of August of last year. This has been rallying strongly. It had a pullback uh, around the uh, 8th of November, uh, 8th and 11th of November, but that pullback held some really important support around 1640, and we've rallied since. We're back at the highs. 1799.20 was that high in um, in uh, late October, and if we can get through there, 1833, 1909, and the big round 2000 mark would be your levels to uh, gun for, and that looks really strong. So uh, that's it from me. Hope you have a good day. Thank you.